The next logical step would be to install Node.js itself. So let's go to Node.js website. Now let's jump to download section. We will not download anything, but on the download section, there is uh, this links to the tutorial pages installing Node.js via package manager. That what exactly what we want to do. So let's go there and find our architecture, our kind of Linux that we are using. So we are on CentOS and this belongs to enterprise Linux and Fedora, including Red Hat Enterprise Linux CentOS and Fedora. Awesome. CentOS is our distro. So what we need to do is to run this script. So before running it, let's just look at what it does. I'll try to zoom this page a little bit on this script and uh, explain what it does. So curl. Curl is the utility to get the page from internet. And in this case, we will be getting this page, right? Let's check it out. What is there? There is a script. This is a bash script that will be executed once you download it, right? Silent and location means that we don't want too much output in our console. And location means that we can jump through HTTP redirects. And then this whole script is piped to the bash. And this dash at the end tells bash to take the script from the standard input instead from the file. Okay, so what it will do, it will get the text from this web page and then it will run it in bash. Be careful when you are running this kind of commands as root, because if somebody does something funny inside of this script, well, you might compromise your system. But this is perfectly legit script, and you can make sure by just reading the source. So we'll paste it. We're root. So we're installing Node.js right now. Actually, we're not installing Node.js. We are installing repository. And now when the repository is installed, we can get the version of Node.js. And to do that, we're typing this command, you install minus y node.js as root. Okay, let's hit enter. And if everything works, we will have node.js in no time. Okay, so now it looks like node.js is installed. Let's check node minus v will give us the version 7.7.2 .7 node uh, and npm, npm minus V will give us the NPM version. Awesome. So we've got node and NPM. And uh, since we've got those, it makes sense to install the additional usual global modules that you would install on your system. So I will type NPM install minus G, which will mean for globally, and all the users will have the access to those modules from command line. And I will install two things PM2 is the tool that we will use to run and manage our Node.js application at a later phase. And secondly, I will install HTTP server. This is a nice little module that allows you to run an HTTP server in pretty much any folder at all. And with the help of this little module, I will just make sure that my Node.js works and I can serve files to internet and my web pages are visible to the outer world. Okay, so let's hit enter and let npm do its job. Now, HTTP server and PM2 are installed, and uh, let's see that our Node.js works. So what I will do right now in the uh, roots folder, I will create a file called index.html, and I will say hello world to index.html. And now I will run HTTP server right here. So now the server is running and it is nice enough to print me the address that it is bound to. I'll go to the browser and open in one of the tabs. I'll open this uh, address and you see there is some output here in the console, meaning that the server registered the request and there is hello world running inside of my web page, which means that Node.js is running and uh, the pages are served, the port is opened and everything works pretty much very well. So now we are at the point when we have the Node.js up and running. Okay, let's shut down this server and clear our screen. So when I build my Node.js application these days, I prefer Yarn Package Manager to NPM. There is a separate video on my YouTube channel telling why Yarn is better, but in general words, Yarn is much more predictable, has much more predictable behavior than NPM, and also it is much faster. So I really like to have Yarn installed also. And what I'll do now, let's go to Yarn uh, web page, right? And here we'll go to getting started to find the guide how to install it, right? Let's go to installation and select our system, which is Linux. We're not on Debian, we're on CentOS. So let's just type this command, 
we can leave sudo off because we are root already. And what it will do, just to understand what this uh, command does, wget is pretty much like curl, you can use any. It will download this file and put it inside of this file on your system. So it will download the description of repository, where to get packages from, and it will save it in the right place on your system so that you will be able then to find this repository and to install uh, yarn from the proper place. So let's do that now. Okay, so now this file is in our system and let's run the second command. Uh, if you do not have already Node.js, we do have Node.js. Let's run yum install yarn. And let's add minus y here because we don't want any questions during the installation. And uh, in a second we'll have yarn. Okay, yarn is installed. Let's test that it is there. Yarn dash dash version should print us yarn 0.21.3. Awesome, we've got yarn ready.